Good morning, everyone. This is Melissa Armo with the StockSwoosh.com, and I'm reviewing BBY to play the day today. This was not an amazing gap, okay? But I proved once again that if you see something and know the numbers exactly, that you can trade it well if you get the entry right. Now, it still was a gap. It was right on the cusp. This did not get an amazing rating, but it was good enough to do, or I wouldn't have done it. And I knew if the numbers were there, it was okay to do, and it gave it. And then I even waited, and I was really even patient because I wasn't going to be aggressive on this because it didn't rate amazing, and also I needed to have the risk to reward. And I even gave this a cushion that it didn't necessarily need because of the whip, because I do know how this stock trades, and I didn't want to get taken out a little taily thing for no reason, as you can see here, these little guys either direction, and I'm just very familiar with the stock. And I also knew the spread would be tight in this today, but... It was a nice gap. It was really the entry though. So anyways, this rally back, here's the short. And then it came down here. And then when you're watching this here, and I was like trying to focus, trying to focus, trying to focus. And this is where, this is where really, I think I've done so great this year where I, I feel it's gonna go. And I, and I didn't get out of any, but you could have been legitimately gonna have some in there. 33 was one of the targets. You could have absolutely had done that but you want to try to get the next move down. And then when it broke, you really got paid into this. Boom. So then I got all out. And that was the right thing to do because it's rallying. Not that it doesn't go to the next number, but it got to the third target. Third target, time of day, Friday, market, nobody knows today because we're, we're just strong, even though we could come in a little bit today, but I don't really think so. Anyways, to make a long story short, that could have been the low of the day, which is really ironic because I got out of the low of the day on something the other day. Wow, if that ends up being the low of the day, that would be hysterical because I did that twice this week now and I don't do that that often all the time, but I'm really trading very accurately. So anyways, that was the right exit, okay? And there was profit in there. And some days you're looking to make money, you're just looking to make whatever money you can. I wanted to make a more of a risk to reward in this. Could this have gone down to a bigger number? Yes, but the rating wasn't there. So you got to kind of gauge that. If I call something and we do it, you go with me where to get out of it. Because if the rating is an 18 or 19, it's 50 50 chance of working or failing. Like we got it, you know, we're not hitting something for some massive target if the rating isn't full on there. And I choose to do it. And I sensed this would work today. I really knew this would work today, even though the rating wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And the other one was just really I just felt was too spready but it worked anyways so if you did them both you're fine if you did just this you're up and I think this is a nice way to end the week okay really this is the first full week of earnings season and I really again want something to sink my teeth into it was not this today I did do this today I did not take as much risk as I normally would because of the rating I still took risk but I really want something to sink my teeth into I think we're going to get it next week, okay? But to be able to take a trade and be out in 10 minutes on a Friday is my dream life. I really don't even feel like I could call this again here, though, because I really don't even feel like I could call this again. This really was the third target, so I'm not going to do it. But it very well could set up again in the one-minute, two-minute, five-minute chart. It's going to be a big stop, though. Even if it sets up in the five, it'll be a large stop. And the first entry was a large stop, and I passed. I just didn't think the risk to reward was there. It really wasn't. But this could have gone right down to the next number, but when it touched and didn't, I was out. And I, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick on the draw. But right in here, right in here it could have flipped. But I really felt like it was gonna hold and I really knew it needed to hold. But you could have taken half out in here if you wanted to. You know, it retested the low of the day and didn't break it. But I really felt it was gonna push and that's what it did. And I was watching it. I was like completely watching it, totally all in it. So BBY, nice gap today. Not amazing, but a good call by me. Was patient for just a teeny weeny little bit to get the right entry. And, and actually this could have touched on this number and flipped. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I stay with it, I stay with it, I stay with it. And then I was, I was like, okay, fine. If I don't do anything today, I don't do anything today. Okay, fine. I, you know, the market just has to give it to me now. It's just anymore now I'm like, okay, market has to give it to me. And then it did. And when it did, we took it. No hesitation. So you know what you have to know what to look for. You have to absolutely know what to look for. If you know what to look for, you get it. You go in no hesitation. If you don't know what to look for, 
so then it's impossible. But if you know what you want to see and it doesn't, and this did it then today, you do it. And if you have no idea what to look for, then you don't know what to do either way. But if I don't see what I want, then I don't want to do it, okay? And I didn't see what I wanted in some of the things yesterday, actually, which we can go over then in a minute. But this is BBY. Here it is. It's going to try to break again, but I'm all out. I'm not taking it again. It's a Friday. It's 10 o'clock. I told everyone, be done today by 10. Everyone should have taken the exit, hopefully, that I did. Good job today, everyone in the room. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.